Have you ever observed a person having mood changes for no apparent reason? He or she might be feeling anxious without any explanation, panicking over trivial issues that should not be concerned, and lack of energy. So for sure we can say that are purely the sign of hormonal changes. So at once the question arises, what are the hormones that are in charge of these situations? This question may click your mind before going into the detail of our today's topic. Let me explain to you with an example. Have you ever observed the military system of any country? Whenever there is any danger or need, the headquarters sends one or more squads that help the people out there. Each squad has a commander and specific target of action. Hormones are just like the squad sent by the military headquarters. They are released under the influence of hypothalamus, the so-called military headquarters of our body, and control the metabolic activity mostly. They stimulate or inhibit the synthesis or secretion or production of any substance inside the body. They do so by acting on target cells. Yes, hormones are specific. They have specific targets and even specific receptors on the target cells. When a hormone binds to its receptor on the target cell, a special type of interaction takes place between the hormone and the receptor. This then leads to initiation of biochemical mechanism, ultimately producing the desired response. Well, I am saying that binding of hormones to specific receptor elicit a specific mechanism that leads to the desired response. Note the three key terms in this whole process. Hormone receptor interaction, biochemical mechanism, and the desired response. Let's elaborate hormone receptor interaction first. Just recall the types of hormones. There are three types of hormones, amino acid derivatives, peptide hormones, and lipid-derived or steroid hormones. Now these first two classes, amino acid-derived and the peptide hormones are soluble in the water. So we call them hydrophilic or water-loving. Examples of such hormones are thyroid-stimulating hormone, follicle-stimulating hormone, luteinizing hormone, and insulin. Whereas this third type is lipid-loving or lipophilic, as the name indicates lipid drive. Examples of such hormones are testosterone, estrogen, and thyroid hormone. Now for these two categories of hormones, the hydrophilic and lipophilic, there are two types of receptors, membrane receptors, that are present on the membrane and intracellular receptors present inside the cell. Now just relate both hormones and receptor for hormone receptor interaction. Hydrophilic hormones, as you know, they are water loving. They may be charged and of large molecular weight. They cannot cross the cell membrane. So for them, membrane receptors are present. They bind with the membrane receptor, activate certain kinds of protein that we will discuss in our upcoming section and produce the response. Examples of membrane receptors are channel linked receptors, G protein coupled receptor, and kinase linked receptors. Whereas the lipophilic hormones, as they are lipid loving and uncharged, they can cross plasma membrane easily within no minutes. Once they enter, they can bind with the intracellular receptors. Now, intracellular receptors can be in the cytoplasm or inside the nucleus. So they can bind with the receptor protein in the cytoplasm or simply enter the nucleus to bind the nuclear receptors. This activates transcription and protein formation. This then leads to the desired response. Examples of intracellular receptors are steroid receptors, estrogen receptors, and thyroid hormone receptors. Okay, till now we have talked about the types of hormones, receptors, their interaction, and a little bit about the biochemical mechanism. 
We will discuss about the mechanism in detail in the next section. Now the question is what is the desired response? Well, it fairly depends on the hormone. It can be a simple contraction of muscle, for example, caused by epinephrine, secretion of cellular products, for example, insulin, breakdown of storage molecules or the senses of new peptides or proteins. So this was just an overview that how our hormones are performing their action. Switch to the next section to learn in more details about the mechanism and these types of receptors.